Hi Elena, welcome on board to this Q&A session on the topic Pressure Altitude. So in this topic we will be seeing about the question analysis, book reference, important concepts, formulas and topic wise solved questions for the particular topic Pressure Altitude. Now getting to the question analysis portion of the session, let me switch on over to the blog which is in the material. So here I am on the edge of aerospace blog, gate aerospace tab. Now scrolling down to the flight mechanics portion of the uh, tab. So here we are on the flight mechanics portion. Now here we have the syllabus and uh, we are covering the pressure altitude portion. Now here in the table of contents, I am clicking on the question analysis. And now we are particularly focusing on uh, this particular topic, pressure altitude. So we are midway the portion basics. Here we can see there was one question, that is one one mark, which was asked in the year 2016 from this particular topic, pressure altitude. And uh, this further provides a void that uh, further questions may be asked on this particular topic. Now getting to the important concepts, book reference and further portions. Here we can see that uh, in the book reference, you can gain a practical experience of what this particular topic has to offer from the book Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge to the 2016 edition, Chapter 4, Principles of Flight. So this book is basically available for free from FAA's website, which is Federal Aviation Administration's uh, website. And uh, for gaining an academic knowledge, about this particular topic, you can read through Introduction to Flight by J.D. Anderson, the 7th edition of it. And the section which uh, deals about this is uh, 3.5. It is uh, titled Pressure, Temperature and Density Altitudes. Now, uh, dropping into the important concepts, you need to know the relation that higher the pressure, that means the altitude is low. So, if the pressure is high, we need to know that the altitude which I symbolify by h is low and as the pressure is low the altitude must be high so basically what we need to know is that the lower the pressure the higher the altitude that is as we increase in altitude or go uh, get above the pressure keeps on decreasing. So if this is the altitude and if this is the pressure, we need to know the relation that pressure decreases with increasing altitude. Now here is a practical formula from the book uh, Pilot's Handbook. That is this formula is basically used uh, uh, by pilots. So for uh, measuring the pressure altitude, uh, here is a simple expression. We uh, basically uh, minus or take the difference of standard pressure and uh, your current pressure settings which is the pressure setting of uh, that particular aircraft times 1000 plus field elevation. So this is a particular empirical relation and we did derive the actual derivations and uh, additionally it also takes in account the field elevation. So field elevation is nothing but uh, the height above which uh, the aircraft uh, that is the airport is located or the particular field is located we did uh, do see that uh, the field elevation being mentioned around the airports that is uh, 3500 meters above mean sea level msl so that particular mentioning is known as the field elevation so msl means mean sea level so here now uh, let's get solving. So here is a question. This is a one mark question asked in gate 2016. So the question basically asks one particular thing during an aircraft cruising flight, they are saying that the aircraft is cruising, the altitude about the ground is usually measured by using. So they are basically asking the technique uh, by which we measure the altitude above ground. So we have four different op options. Let's see uh, each of them. Uh, how do they actually uh, contribute to this? So dynamic pressure. Talking about the dynamic pressure, dynamic pressure, which is also known as the half rho v square, is generally used uh, in defining in the process of defining lift and drag. 
we see that uh, lift is equal to half rho v square SCL. So this is a lift equation. Uh, so this doesn't has uh, it does not have anything to do with altitude. Now uh, we can strike out this option A and uh, talking about option B, static pressure. Yes, static pressure is indeed used to measure the altitude above how ground. That is, static pressure is generally measured by the static board. So this is the uh, physical significance or uh, this is how the system looks the static port on an aircraft fuselage so here the static port uh, is open to the exterior of the aircraft to sense the pressure of atmosphere at the altitude at which the aircraft is flying so basically this static port measures the pressure at which the aircraft is currently flying at so this may be the right answer so here let's check it and uh, the option c is radar uh, when we talk about radar, there is an instrument called radar altimeter. This radar altimeter can uh, uh, measure the altitude up to a range of 760 meters above ground. Uh, but here it isn't radar altimeter, instead it is simply a radar. So radar is a detection device. Uh, so it may not be applicable for measuring the altitude. So here laser range finder. So this laser range finder is basically used to determine the distance to an object. That is the horizontal distance. Considering that uh, you are having distance, you are uh, requiring distance from option point A to point B along the ground or horizontally, then you can use the laser range, uh, laser range finder. But uh, this is not the case as we require the altitude. So this may not be the right answer. The right answer must be the static pressure. That is the altitude about the ground is usually measured by the static pressure. Let's check the answer. Here we see option B, static pressure is the right answer. So that's it for this session. Thank you. Let's crack gate airspace.